Hey friends and welcome back to Cleaning Therapy. My name is Jenny and today is a really fun video because we are going off of our checklist and we're gonna get some things done. And I'm so happy about this because you guys love these videos. If I look at my analytics, these checklist videos are like above and beyond any of my other videos. You guys love them, you watch them for longer and they seem to motivate you. So that makes me happy because I only wanna put out videos that you guys truly love and enjoy. So plenty of motivation in this one. We're gonna be going off of our checklist and I will be deep cleaning my bedroom. And I mean deep cleaning like top to bottom Bottom, every nook and cranny and it's just gonna feel so good to get that done so if you're following along with me and cleaning with me and are working off of your checklist thank you so much that motivates me so much that we get to clean together and if you still need one just go ahead and check my description box I have a link that says join the clean your way to calm challenge and you can get your checklist there so that we can clean together but right now you're just gonna see me do my morning cleaning routine because I don't wanna start a project until I've done just my basic cleaning for the day. This only takes me about 15 minutes and I just like to do a few things in the morning to kinda of set myself up for a good day. The first thing I like to do is just tidy up the house. Then I like to get breakfast stuff cleaned up and get the dishwasher unloaded from the night before. And I start a load of laundry and normally I make my bed, but today since I'll be working in my bedroom, I'm not gonna be doing that. So thank you for being here. Go ahead and hit that like button if you're ready for some serious motivation and let's get into it. If you're new here today, I'd love to introduce myself. My name is Jenny and I'm a mom to three. I live over here in Southern Louisiana and I love to do cleaning motivation on my channel as well as decluttering and organizing, decorating, anything you name it for taking care of the home and creating a clean and calm space for myself and my family. I love to offer that kind of motivation here on my channel. I love to use cleaning as anxiety management, depression management, just mental health management in general. So if that sounds good to you, just go ahead and hit that subscribe button so that you can see me on the next video. I have a real heart for helping to encourage and motivate others and that is the whole purpose of my channel. So I'd love for you to stick around so that we can get to know each other a little better. So here's a little peek at my checklist today. This is what we're gonna be working on in the month of April. We're gonna be deep cleaning, decluttering, organizing, and just getting our bedrooms in order from top to bottom. So here's a close-up shot of my light fixture. There's some cobwebs here and a lot of dust, so I really need to get this deep cleaned. So again, working on my checklist from top to bottom, I'm gonna go ahead and get started cleaning. And as you can see, when I pull this little cover off, there's just a lot of dust on here as well. So for one side, I like to use just a wet uh, soapy washcloth and just get all of that off of the hard plastic side. And then for the fabric side, I always like to use this lint roller. I find that does a really nice job for anything fabric covered, including lampshades. Next on my checklist is to dust all of the wall hangings as well as the blinds and the windows. And for that, I'm gonna be using the Mrs. Myers All-Purpose Spray in the Peony Scent. I think it smells really good and fresh for spring. So I'm gonna go ahead and clean off these wall hangings with that. For the blinds, I'm gonna go ahead and use my feather duster first just to get all of the dust off. And then I'll go in with the All-Purpose Spray and get them nice and clean. Feather, but I can't hide. I can't low at the same time. Feels so right. 
and I'm just going in with this method glass cleaner to get these windows and I do have a different day um, allocated for the outside windows so I'll just be doing inside of my bedroom today so again just following along on my checklist um, if you're new to my channel and you don't know what I'm talking about with the checklist it's basically just something I came up with to make life easier because I was overwhelmed with spring cleaning and trying to cram everything into a week or two of the year. So I decided to break it up and have certain deep cleaning tasks each month and that way it would feel more manageable. And I decided to go ahead and just pipe it up and make it available to my viewers as well in case you guys wanted to join me and clean along with me. And of course you can just modify it to your own space and your own needs. So that's the checklist. And so I always keep it in my description box every single video in case you guys wanna join along. And here I am just rotating this mattress. This is a king size mattress and so it was kind of hard to rotate, but I did manage to get it done. Trapped in a box, trying to be like the rest when I'm not. I just wanna go my own way. This is a mixture of baking soda and lavender essential oils that I like to mix up and sprinkle on my mattress. I wanna let it sit for a good long while and I like to also take a little brush and just brush it into the mattress so that it can really do its job to pull out what it needs to pull out to freshen up the mattress. So I'm gonna let that sit for pretty much the rest of the time I'm cleaning in here and then I'll go ahead and vacuum it off. This headboard is all stained up. I think just because when you sit up in bed to read or anything, like the oils from your hair just get on this fabric. And so I had tried to clean it before and I accidentally used a bleach product and it left these like white streaks in here, which makes the other parts kind of look worse. So I'm going in with the Resolve Pet Expert upholstery cleaner just to see if I can make any progress with this headboard and we'll see if I can get it to look a little bit better. But make sure you stay tuned because I had no idea that when I moved this bed out of the way to clean it, it would be so filthy underneath. It was just blowing my mind uh, how much dust and all kinds of random things were under my bed. So here you can see there's a sippy cup, a football, toys, um, and lots and lots of dust bunnies. This right here, this white streak, ended up being a spilled milk bottle from when my son was a baby. So it was very um, like jarring to see like how bad this was and that we've been sleeping on top of this for so long. And I really had no idea it had gotten this bad. I don't think I've cleaned under this bed, to be honest, um, since we got our bed, and that was several years ago. So it was just time, and that is another reason why I started the checklist, is just to keep myself accountable, because honestly, I forget, and you know, I fall behind in my cleaning, and there's just so many other things that I'm thinking about, and I just simply forgot to do this, neglected to do this, um, you know, and it just didn't get done. So this is just real life moment here. And um, that's what that checklist is for because it will remind me each month what I need to be doing. Because I guarantee you, when I go to clean this again next year, it's not gonna be this bad because it would take many years for it to get this bad. Also, whenever you're deep cleaning, just make sure you're cleaning the cords because they get so, so dusty. Even if it's just been a few months since you've cleaned them, I know the cords tend to get really dusty. So I'm just going over them with a wet washcloth. If I should fall, just go ahead, go and catch me, baby. Ooh, I live it. That's my too, 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 too. And thankfully, this uh, spilled bottle was really easy to clean up. I was a little bit worried that it would be like sticking to the floor, but thankfully it was a formula bottle and so it had turned into like a powder and it just wiped right off like as if it was dust. So I am so glad to get this area all cleaned up. That really grossed me out. And now I can just give it a really good mop 
and know that underneath my bed, um, it's not, you know, the funk of a thousand years living there and I can just sleep a little more peacefully. So now that I've got the bed moved back over to the right, this is kind of what was left um, on the left. So I am just going to get this all cleaned up before I put that nightstand back. Let me know in the comments if you guys have done your spring cleaning or any deep cleaning that you might be working on, or if you're going through the checklist with me, let me know that as well. That always encourages me to know that I'm cleaning with a friend. And I hope that you guys feel like when you're watching my videos, you're cleaning with a friend too, because that is definitely one of the reasons I'm here is to make you feel like you're not alone and that you can do this. So here's another shot of just the baseboards and how dusty they have gotten. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and tackle these baseboards again with a warm, wet, and soapy washcloth. Next up on my checklist is to declutter and organize the tops and insides of the furniture. This is my husband's nightstand and it's pretty jam packed. And I don't think he really uses um, any of this pretty much, maybe like three things. So I'm gonna go ahead and declutter this. I'm gonna keep it all for now. I'm not gonna throw anything away because I wanna have him go through it and make sure that I'm not throwing away anything important. But I am gonna go ahead and make those decisions um, normally I don't declutter for other people, but it is my husband and he is extremely easygoing um, when it comes to things like this and he would appreciate this more than you know, so he's overwhelmed by the clutter as well. So I'm going to go ahead and do it, but like I said, I won't throw anything away just in case he needs to keep anything. So I'm going to vacuum this out and this is just kind of how I sort through things. I just make piles really quickly and I do a keep pile, a donate pile, and a trash pile. And I also do a pile for anything that just belongs somewhere else in the house. So that's what I'm going to be doing here. Should have told you that you're beautiful, but the days pass and now it's so long ago. Did you make it? Did you break free? Did you manage to be who you want to be? Maybe somewhere you think about me too. Here's a fun find. Inside of his dresser, I found Relaxing Clean With Me, which was my very first cleaning video. This is the notes that I took for the voiceover. And so that was a really cool find. And I think I might actually keep that as a little memento for my channel. And here's our little two-year-old Alex. All the change that I found in daddy's nightstand, I let him put into his little piggy bank. And he absolutely loves to do that. It makes him very happy. So I was glad we could feed the piggy. I'm growing old, but I need you to deal with my sorrow. Just a memory, just a broken frame, and I know that I have no one else to blame. Did you make it? Did you break free? Did you manage to be who you want to be? Maybe somewhere you think about me too. So here's how it turned out. In the top, I just have his little accessories. And then in the middle of the drawer, he has his little personal care items, bathing cloths, and like a strap for when he goes in the shower. And then in the bottom drawer is just his t-shirts and socks. 
So I really like the way that came out. I think it's super minimal and functional. And then up here, I don't really have to declutter anything because all it is is a picture, his cologne, and his lamp. So I'm just gonna give it a really good deep cleaning. And whenever I clean the lamps, I always, again, try to clean the cords as well as the light bulbs. The light bulbs get really, really dusty. So I'm gonna clean that and then I'll pull out my lint roller for the shade. Another place that gets really, really dusty is the back of the furniture, and sometimes I forget to go clean that. It certainly doesn't get clean during my weekly cleaning, that's for sure. So this was all of the dust and like cobwebs that were kind of stuck up underneath and on the back of the furniture. So I made sure to do that with all the pieces um, in my room today because they had all been neglected for a while. As you can see here, a lot of these furniture pieces are pretty beat up and the finish is wearing off, but they are, overall in good condition they're real wood pieces so i am going to be keeping them and attempting to restore them soon probably in the next few months i will go ahead and paint this furniture and put a good seal on it just to kind of protect it we've had it for so many years and it's just really taken a beating but i really would like to save it and see if i can maybe paint it and give it a little bit of new life i'm just gonna catch you. Here in these drawers, I had just been kind of dumping sentimental items in here. Anything the kids had been doing, like birthday cards that they got for me, or like Alex's doctor's checkups from when he was a baby with all of his like height and weight and things like that. Um, as well as like cards from friends and you know artwork that the kids did and things like that. So I had just been kind of dumping it in here just because I didn't have anything in these drawers, but I now have um, a location for those kinds of items. So I decided to move them over to that location and these drawers just ended up being empty. And at first I was like trying to think of a way that I could fill them up, but it's really not necessary. I'm sure something will come up that I can store in these drawers. And I don't wanna just put things in here just to put things in here. Um, if they're empty, they're empty and there's nothing wrong with that. Um, I'm sure that they'll, you know, come in handy at some point. I'm just gonna drop, drop, drop. Over here in the dresser, um, my husband and I share this dresser and so my side is the left side and his is the right. This is where I put my jewelry and I didn't have a ton to declutter from here because I don't really wear a ton of jewelry. So I'm just kind of pulling everything out that I know I haven't worn in the past year and then I'm just taking things out of these little cubbies and just giving them a quick clean with a baby wipe just to kind of get any dust that might be in there. So here in this next drawer, I keep all of my bras and underwear and socks. So I'm gonna go ahead and go through those because I already know I have way too many sports bras um, here in the front. Uh, I have way more sports bras than regular bras and some of my regular bras are in the laundry. So I just wanted to kind of even that out a bit. So I decluttered a little bit from there. I also decluttered some socks because I have like 20 something pairs of socks and there's only seven days in a week. So I am going to work on that for a little bit, but overall I'm going to leave this little system the same since I've been enjoying it.
The next drawer is a drawer that I had some loungewear in, but um, I actually want to go ahead and put some organizers in here. Um, I got the same ones that I have in my son Alex's room because I love the way that they work and here they are right here. So I went ahead and got some for our drawers as well. I think they look really nice because they kind of match the inside of the drawer and they're very like sturdy and well made. So I now can fit like way more in here than before. So I went ahead and added my workout pants. These are just like little leggings, you know, I'm gonna put those um, in here as well. So I'll do workout clothes and loungewear all in this drawer. The reason I like dividers like this is because without them, I feel like when you fold up the clothes and try to file them, they just kind of fall all over the place. They don't really stay in place. And so I feel like with these organizers, you can get them to pack tightly enough to where they're not just falling over. So I really like these. And again, I had them in my son's room and they've been working really well. So eventually I'm gonna be getting these for all of our drawers. And I'll go ahead and leave the link to these as well in my description box in case any of you guys are looking for something like this. And I'm also decluttering these clothes while I'm folding them, which is why you see me throwing some to the side. So I was really happy with the way that drawer turned out. And then in this bottom drawer, I have all of my pajamas. So I'll just go ahead and place the dividers in, declutter and put back my pajamas as well. And on my husband's side, I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing. This is all on the checklist. And if we do this once a year, I'm hoping that we won't have anything too crazy or overwhelming to deal with. So that is the goal is to have like a maintenance cleaning routine instead of the way that I'm doing it, which is like it hasn't been done in years and it's just a lot, a lot of work. I'm hoping that when I do this each year, it's just a matter of small tweaks and some cleaning. So we'll see how that goes. When I come back, you feed it up the south. My husband doesn't have too much in here, so this little first drawer won't be a problem at all. Um, in the middle and bottom drawers, I decided to switch around a few things for him, and I'm gonna put all of his t-shirts in the middle drawer and all of his pants and bottoms and shorts in the bottom drawer. And that's just to kind of free up a little bit of space in his closet. My husband has the smallest closet out of everyone, and so um, he just needed a little more room in his closet for like all of his work clothes and things like that. And right here in this um, top big drawer, he just has his socks and underwear and some, I think a tie, but that's working really well. So I'm gonna leave that be and I'll just focus on the middle and the bottom drawers.
And this is just a little fun t-shirt that I got him for Christmas. I think it is completely appropriate for the relationship that we have. It says, I have a very psychotic wife. Um, and it's got like hot, you know, in bold so that it's like, it looks like it says hot wife, but it's really psychotic. And I'm really trying to get him to wear that for one of our videos for our channel. We have a little couples channel called Jenny and Tony, and I keep that link in my description box as well if you want to check it out. But I've been trying to get him to wear it for one of our videos, and he will not do it. He will only wear it basically to bed. I'm gonna be myself. And again, here's just more dust behind the dresser, just lots and lots of dust. So I'm gonna go ahead and sweep that out and wipe off the cords and get the baseboard all cleaned off as well. And again, there's just so much dust on the back of the furniture and it kind of clings to the bottom um, back of the furniture that I was really glad to get back here and really uh, tackle that. Um, as you can see, there was just a lot of dust coming off. I don't think I mentioned this earlier, but I am using the method wood for good to clean off my wood furniture. And I just think it works really well. It uh, conditions the wood, brings back the shine, and you know, it dusts everything off. And then it just smells so good. It smells like almond. And so um, my whole room was starting to just smell like this almond scent. And it smelled really, really nice. And I was so glad to be uh, making all this progress today. And as soon as my bedding comes out of the dryer, I'll get my mattress all vacuumed off and then I'll be able to put the bedding back on. And this room is gonna be like a whole new room. It's definitely gonna be amazing to sleep in tonight. Um, it's nice enough sleeping in a clean bed, but to sleep in a deep cleaned room will be a real treat. So to clean off my mattress, I'm just using the detachment from my Shark vacuum. This is the corded vacuum and it just has this little handheld attachment. So I'm gonna go over this pretty well just because I don't want any baking soda to stay on the mattress. So um, I sped it up here and kind of cut out a little bit of it, but I went over it pretty much with a fine tooth comb because I wanted to make sure and get all the baking soda out. I'm gonna be myself, I'm gonna be someone else I'm gonna be myself, I'm gonna be someone else I'm gonna skip my breaks and my bedding still had just a few more minutes in the dryer to finish up so I'm just getting out my broom and sweeping up um, some of this dust and also baking soda that fell off the bed and just making sure that the floors are good and swept and then I'm gonna get out my O Cedar Spin Mop and my method wood for good uh, hardwood floor cleaner and uh, just get these floors really super clean before I put all of the bedding back on. I also went and looked at my checklist and I still had a couple more things to do before I could mop. So I wanted to get these baseboards cleaned off. So these were the few baseboards that were not behind the furniture that I wanted to get all dusted off as well as clean off my door and then it'll be time to mop. And while I was cleaning, I had my phone right there and I was actually listening to a Joanna Thornton video. I found her recently and I've been really liking her cleaning videos. I really like her personality and I like the way she cleans. She's just got so much energy. <laughs> So um, it really got me motivated to clean. A lot of times I'll watch cleaning videos in order to get motivated to film. And so um, that's what I was watching on this day. So now I can finally mop and I've made my way through my entire checklist. So I'm going to show you guys at the end um, all the things that I was able to get done today. 
And again, I always hope that it motivates you to get something done in your house, to get you up and moving, and to get you excited about cleaning or doing any other projects that you might have to do on your to-do list. Guess I'm just too scared to settle down. There'd be many nights I got too hot and almost left town. But there's something about you, something about you I like, about you I like. I get too drunk. And to finish things off, I'm just going to light this candle right here. It's a Casa Luna candle from the Target line. It's in the linen scent. And this is a fresh and clean room. And I am so grateful for it. And I know it's not much to look at decor wise, but I am so happy that it's at least clean. And it's clean from top to bottom, even under that really filthy bed so i am so grateful that the room is clean and i look forward to coming back once a year to go under the bed pull out the furniture and do that spring cleaning in here each year and in the meantime i also have my weekly routines as well as my daily cleaning routines that will keep me on track uh, so that i can really get into the swing of this maintenance cleaning and enjoy a more clean and calm house so thank you so much for being with me today, friends. I appreciate each and every one of you so much. This is everything we did today. You guys can do it too. I believe in you and I know you can do it. So see you guys next week. Bye guys.